Nice. What we have today is an unboxing of the brand new Raspberry Pi 4. It's been completely upgraded, re-engineered, and is faster and significantly more powerful. You'll recognize the price along with the basic shape and size, so you can simply drop your new Raspberry Pi into your old projects for an upgrade. The speed and performance of the new Raspberry Pi 4 is a step up from earlier models. What I have with me today is both the 1 and 2 GB variants, as well as the official power supply that's over USB-C and delivers 15 watts of stable power. We're greeted with an easy to use design where we can open the box from the side, and now we have the Raspberry Pi 4. You'll notice that there is a small defect at the top of the PCB. Huh. Weird. On the side we have standard accessories, telling us to touch the Raspberry Pi 4 while it is in use, as well as the safety sheet, which seems super important. Here is a close-up of the defect I got with my 1GB variant. I'll keep you all posted in case it causes any issues. And let's set that aside for a sec. It's the same procedure for the 2GB variant, opening the side box, taking out the Raspberry Pi, and here is the updated I.O. of the new Raspberry Pi 4. Two micro HDMI on the side as well as USB-C, updated USB 3 ports that's controlled by a PCI Express chip on the board, Gigabit Ethernet, and as usual, the Raspberry Pi 4 slot for connecting peripherals. Moving on to the power supply, we can see that it has official packaging, and it's now USB-C. 3 amps at 5.1 volts, 15.3 watts of maximum output power, and hopefully, we'll test this out with some strenuous projects and see whether it holds up. No USB-C connector on the AC block itself though. Lastly, I didn't have any of these laying around, so this is a micro HDMI to regular HDMI cable. Be sure to subscribe for any upcoming Raspberry Pi projects. That's all for today's unboxing. I sincerely thank everyone for joining, and I hope you have a terrific day.